went out to try to help. Um, so kudos to those military folks for, for, for stepping up. I, like I said, I don't have those skills. But, uh, and then many people, we tried to grab our first aid kits out of our cars, you know, extra clothes to help uh, however we could to help, you know, keep them warm and, and okay. Are you, I assume, are you, you're no longer in the traffic? Are you past the, where are you now? They're, they just started uh, turning us around and um, heading back north away from the incident. So this is very much still ongoing as we speak. Absolutely. There are a ton of um, first aid and medic cars, fire trucks, state patrol, local police, you can name it. They're all there. Did you see anyone who appeared to be injured from your vantage point when you were out there? Uh, I didn't see anybody injured at the time. Um, I took that video and, and tried to run and help some folks. Um, as I was sitting in my car, um, you do see people obviously being taken uh, to, to first aid uh, vehicles, to medic vehicles and, and uh, on stretchers and, and backboards and such. Did, how are, from what you could see, how are folks being taken off the train? I mean, it's, it's dangling, yeah, yeah, it's on I the highway. That. I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. I'm, I, I can't okay. tell you how they're doing that. Um, I did see some, uh, some emergency personnel up on the tracks trying to evaluate it, but I, I wasn't there to be able to speak to that.